going all through southern BC to ask politicians, candidates, will you stand for us and our wild salmon? And will you protect wild salmon by moving the salmon feedlots out of our ocean? Absolutely. We need to move the wild feedlots, I mean the salmon feedlots, out of the wild salmon's waters. It's true. And uh, we, we have to rethink um, the whole approach of the federal fisheries and oceans to salmon and um, change the mandate back to the protection of our wild salmon. I just want to say, Alexandra, I am so impressed that you are taking the time in your life in this election to reach out to politicians and really ask questions about issues I'm not seeing discussed by, by the parties at large. A lot of the politicians and candidates, particularly the Conservatives, they just won't answer the question. Um, and I think people don't realize, but they'll say to me, it's about the economy, Alex, not about the fish, but they don't realize that these fish are a far greater contribution to the economy than those farm salmon. So what's so unbelievable about salmon for me is that if we keep the salmon thriving, we have a piece of our economy ad infinitum, on forever. It's so sustainable. But it's not just about the jobs in the salmon industry, in the tourism industry, um, in the restaurant industry. For me, it's also about our, the quality of our food and the quality of our environment. My, my friends and I just feel, you know, the dress rehearsal's over. This is it. Our species is facing some huge issues. And people need to re-look at the wild world and, and see what it is for us. See the power lines. See that these salmon are food security. They grow the trees that make the oxygen we're breathing. They support an enormous amount of our economy. And it's about the mood for change. Yeah. And that's what you're doing. I mean, it's about the mood for change and the, the fact that we need to move faster on the path of change. We have a fabulous city, but it's it's got its problems. And I mean, we have oil tankers in our harbor that could, <laughs> in one spill, wreck everything we love and the yeah. economy we love and threaten well, It would the wreck salmon. your air quality. You'd be dangerously in trouble with your air quality. So we risk so much for something uh, that that has some short-term benefit, but it, 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 it is such a risk to the bigger picture, the yeah. bigger economy, our quality of life, our future. Yeah. And that's, that's why I think your question about the salmon is so important. I mean, it's not about getting as many boats out there as catching uh, or putting, setting a quote uh, that kind of maximizes the possibility of, of taking salmon now. It's about really revamping the Department of Fisheries and Oceans entirely so that it's yeah, yeah. more science, it's got a science and conservation and yeah, research branch. That has to happen. And that the quotas and the fishing are tied to the science, not to what politicians might want in terms yeah. of maintaining a certain number of jobs. Because it's not just jobs now, it's jobs in the future. It's jobs for our children and their children and their children. It's salmon now and forever. The majority of people right. want their children to survive. We, we, we're really talking about saving the planet. And uh, why wouldn't we do that? <laughs> we really should save the planet. Yeah, so. Yeah. I congratulate you. You've been in this a long time. Um, you're extremely dedicated to serving the people and the planet, really. Um, I really wish you good luck. Thank you.